<laughs> it's my gold! I love gold! Oh, this thing's heavy! Although the 3DS has become somewhat irrelevant in the last couple of years, Nintendo keeps supporting the handle with a few little surprises. Enter WarioWare Gold, a sequel slash compilation of some of the best micro games in the series' history. This isn't the first time Nintendo tried to release a minigame compilation on the 3DS, as they tried last year with Mario Party The Top 100. The difference here? WarioWare Gold is actually good! Right off the bat, Nintendo goes above and beyond with the game's story. Wario is once again trying to dupe his friends to making games for him so he can get rich. What a shock. This may be another cliched premise, but the stories that are told around it are actually hilarious. It's all thanks to great visual humor, punchy writing, and stellar vocal performances. Mike, thank Gallium. I mean, there you are. Yes, it is me. Why did you run off like that? You know how I miss you. <sighs> Even with such a phenomenal vocal cast, the real scene stealer is Wario himself. For once, our pudgy anti hero finally gets to speak instead of just making random grunts, which is a first since Mario Power Tennis, of all things. Charles Martinet has a field day with the role, and every line he delivers is pure gold. Get it? Ah, they cleared eight whole levels? Uh, must rage nap! The story is divided to the three styles of play, mash, twist, and touch. The mash league refers to only using the directional pad or the A button to perform simple commands, the twist league requires using the 3DS gyroscope to move your system left and right, and finally the touch league, as the name implies, referring to using the touch screen. All of the microgames hold up incredibly well. Not only do they behave as responsibly as they originally did, but the graphical update gives them a nice coat of paint. Even when the game throws a curveball and speeds everything up, there is nothing more satisfying than still beating that game despite that hurdle. The highlight of the series for me has always been the Nintendo microgames, and the new ones in gold are absolutely terrific. That being said, there are a few duds in the roster. Sometimes when you get an instructions, the game will give you a very poor visual representation of what to do, and the only way to win is through trial and error. In addition, in the later levels, the game mixes all types together, so going from clicking buttons to using the touchscreen in a moment's time can be rather jarring. Using a finger on a touchscreen will never be as accurate as a stylus. Once the story mode is complete, there are plenty of extra challenges to partake in, like playing the game with only one life or on very hard mode. The craziest one is Wario Interferes, where Wario will put obstructions in front of your screen to prevent you from performing well. It makes the blank time between the microgames a brief moment where you can rub away the paint or goop away, adding an extra layer of challenge. Doing all those different modes grab coins, and they can be used on toy capsules. Each capsule unlocks a collectible. You can get some traditional prizes like character cards or music to some of the zaniest yet coolest rewards in recent memory. For example, in Amiibo mode, Wario will draw a crude picture of whatever Amiibo you place, but the funniest one of them all are the studio sessions. This gives players the option to redub the entire dialogue of the game. Even if the microphone quality of the 3DS is far from stellar, it still manages to become funny yet effective distractions. Body and mind, for we must never neglect the intellect. Never, master. All this is why I have put us in the gravest of danger. Body and mind, for we must never neglect the intellect. Never, master. And all this is why I put us in the gravest of danger. WarioWare Gold is simple, unadulterated fun, which is perfect for those pick up and play sessions. Even if the modes of the game tend to be repetitive in the long run, and more multiplayer modes would have been appreciated, it is perhaps the best game in the series since the original 15 years ago. It is the most laugh out loud gaming experience I've had in recent memory, and I implore those who haven't yet eulogized the 3DS to give it a go. Thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you all next time. Uh, take care.